This review looks at two cardboard boxes and the first is nicely finished with tape, as is the second one, so they're both good looking boxes. That's enough nonsense, thank you very much. This review actually looks at two versions of the Unimog U5000 with a loader crane. Model 9113 is in grey, and if we give it a quick respray, Model 9113-01 is in blue. Both models come in a cardboard outer covering and that's because they provide extra protection to what's inside. And that is a branded NZG sleeve which is covering a Perspex display case. There is some additional packaging inside the Perspex display case so if you want to remove that you need to carefully take off the top lid. And then you can remove the inner packaging. Also tucked in under the base is a small bag and that holds a couple of spreader plates for the outriggers of the loader crane. If you want to set the Unimog free so it can run around a bit you need to undo the screws which secure it to the base. And after that there's no assembly to do because these models are complete out of the display case. The Unimog is detailed underneath and it has four wheel drive and it's got nice chunky tyres mounted on detailed wheels and the Unimog cab is also nicely detailed with small graphics. This blue version is in the colours of Technisches Hilfswerk, which is the German government civil protection organisation. The load deck has got nicely shaped sides and at the back there's a towing hitch and number plate. The loader crane has got metal outriggers with graphics, although there's no branding on the crane. And the main boom sections look good, each with its own hydraulic piston. The grey version is very similar to the blue version, with one small difference being the access hatch on the cab roof. It's time for these rough terrain Unimogs to show what they can do and they roll well enough. And one very nice feature of these models is that they've got fully sprung suspension on both axles. So they're good for giving your fingers a workout. Now we'll pick up the Unimog and test that it really does have suspension and it isn't just a spongy cranes etc test track. And while we're at it we'll check the other feature which is the working steering. And it's good because you can set it to quite a decent angle. And the Unimog does steer reasonably well around a corner. The main feature of these models is the built in loader crane so let's give those a look. And to start with we'll set the outriggers. And the one on the driver's side is good because it pulls out and swings down. And it has a kind of a lock so it stays pointed down. You lower the pads by unscrewing although that does reveal a screw thread. But a nice touch is the provision of spreader pads with the model. Now we'll unfold the boom using the giant remote control hand. And it can be quite tricky to operate the fingers accurately. The boom rams have a decent stiffness so they will hold any pose that you want to set. And pulling out the telescopic sections is also quite smooth. So again it will probably hold most poses. One nice small touch is the hook at the end of the boom. Not only does it swing in two directions, you can also rotate it. These are two more very good quality Unimog models from NZG. And they have nicely implemented functionality with both the suspension on the wheels and the working loader crane. They will pose particularly well with other models, and overall they're nice models which are highly recommended. Music